before we get into the actual presentation of our research, let us first ask the guidance and presence of our beloved God. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us. Do not lead us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are Group C of 11 ABMA. My name is Cardi B. Madarang. I'm Michaela Salas. I'm Josiah Miguel A. Tubig. I'm Arnel Rafael Ardelusong. Jay I'm Michaela Pangan. I'm John Benedict Torres. Presenting our research entitled as The Impact of online class of grade 11 students in Coleo de Calumpit, Inc. Academically 2020-2021. One, our topic is online class in the Philippines. This new system of learning education that the Department of Education decided to open in the middle of pandemic was met with criticism. Students and parents pointed out that their household finances have been affected by months of lockdown and they could not afford to buy the tools needed for the new education system. We would like to address all the possible problems that may encounter in online class. Both privileged and the less fortunate are having a hard time with this. That is why conducting this research is not only knowing the perspective of our fellow students, but also giving awareness to ourselves in terms of hardships that we are, we are facing, because not every student has the same level of learning capability. So, our title is The Impact of Online Class of Grade 11 Students in Colegio de Calumpit Incorporated, Academic Year 2020-2021. The COVID-19 pandemic has greatly affected various aspects of normal life, including going to office and school. As a result, schools have been forced to forego traditional classes and shift to online classes instead. Currently, conducting online classes is the only way out to keep imparting knowledge. It involves the use of digital services to create a virtual classroom. The teacher and students sign into a communication app and sit in in front of their devices. This new system did encounter a few hiccups initially, but things have been smoothened out. The discussion around online classes has sparked a lot of controversy. The issue of online class is one about access. More broadly, it's about the education system and the problems that hinder us from making online classes a reality. The pandemic has also highlighted the need to improve the education system and presents an opportunity to do so. So our main quest research question, what are the challenges of online learning to the students of Coleo de Calumpit? So we chose this question because our aim is to know each problem or issue that every student in our school is facing day by day and also resolve those problems by means of our research. So how? How we must identify the respondents who are qualified to take part in our research and how we must conduct a survey to those respondents. Moving on, here are the three supporting questions based on the main research question provided. Number one, do the quality of online location are like the traditional ones? So we chose this question to compare the current situation of our education system, which is the online class, to the traditional one. The second one, does online class ensure that students will be capable of understanding each lesson and at the same time gain knowledge? So we chose this question so that we all know if online class is the best way to gain knowledge and to impart knowledge to the students at this time of crisis. And lastly, what are the factors that may affect the, the performance of a student via online class? So um, we chose this question so that we all know the different aspects that make hindrances to those or to each student via 
online class. So that's all. Why are we conducting this research? First, to test how the online class is efficient to all students. With this, we will be able to know if online class can keep up with the traditional or face-to-face -face class. Since we need to adopt the new normal, adjustments should be done so that we can determine how effective the measures are taken. It might also be beneficial in assessing whether if it is successful in terms of how students learn throughout the process. Second, to address all the possible problems that may encounter in online class. By enumerating and identifying the problems in an online class, we can prepare solutions that would likely bring up good conclusions and results. For that to happen, monitoring the conditions of students, teachers, and the learning environment should be considered as the aspects for prospects. Some of the problems might not be interchangeable, but we can still adjust the other factors so that they could align with each other. Third, to fill gaps about the necessary needs of online classes. Setting the improvement we can do and adjust according to what is needed. Similar to other reasons, how we'll address the conflict that exists in the learning environment and in the learning process itself matters as it is in the next step that we need to take to maintain the efficiency of online class for the long run. Fourth, to figure out if the student is in line with the new normal education system. What are the challenges students encounter while attending online class and how do they cope with the new educational system? Assessing their conditions are one of the most essential aspects to consider in learning systems. Concerns such as Will they be able to catch up with the pace even if the internet connection's not that good? Are the deadlines given fair enough for the student to comply with it? And etc. Lastly, to find out if they are learning or just being forced to pass the subject. This is a matter of compliance, yet the most important objective still matters more. The objective to learn and benefit with the knowledge that are being provided rather than being immersed with the number system. The situations might be different for each individual as everyone is molded with different mindsets in terms of learning and being able to pass the present and the upcoming school years. Who? Who target responded? First, grade 11 student in Colegio de Calumpi. The target respondents are grade 11 students from Coleo de Calumpit. There are several students that can catch up the lesson because of the poor internet connection and some struggle about their mental health because of a lot of activities or school works. When the distance learning started, a lot of students has been reported feeling anxious and stress, stress with online classes. We target the grade 11 student for they are the next generation in our school, which is they will be graduates next year. So they are ones we choose because they are also the first experience the new learning method. Suppose when they arrive, the grade 12, they can still handle the situation. Second, teacher. We also target to hear the opinions of some teacher about their perspective or outlook to their students since their new learning started. It's true that online classes has made emotional stress for most students. Where? The targeted respondents are the grade 11 students from Colejo de Columpit. In our research, we want to give awareness from the students who are struggling from online class. The mental and emotional pressures that students can feel is loneliness, anxiety, and even can lead to depression. A good eight hours of sleep, a healthy diet, and regular exercise can help you boost your positive impact on your mental health. But this research is not only give awareness to the grade 11 students of the Calumpit, but also the very students who are struggling and having a hard time to adjust in this new learning. When the respondents we aim to seek are also students like us and teachers who currently have online classes ongoing on weekdays. 
we do not want to rush things to our respondents because we know that they have their own things to do and we do not wish to interfere on their time management. So in order for us to get a clear answer, we decided for our schedule, we will use after dismissal time, weekends, and also it depends on the availability of our respondents. For our introduction, we are going to enlighten you about our topic. In this part, we will tell you about what exactly is online learning, the history of online learning, and now, for the first part, is the literature. A, vari a variety of technologies has been used to engage students participating in work-integrated learning. Email or listservs were the initial technology applied either alone or in combination with the resource web page. As technology advanced, other types of technology emerge. Asynchronous discussion boards were the prominent model of technical engagement, either alone or as part of an overall virtual environment. Blackboard and WebCT course management systems were also frequently used as overall virtual environments for students. Online education is a form of education where students use their home computers through the internet. For many non-traditional students, all those who want to continue working full-time or raising families online tech. Often online graduation and first course programs, some of which are conducted using digital technologies, are provided via the online learning portal of the host university. E-learning, also referred to as online learning or electronic learning, is the acquisition of knowledge which takes place through electronic technologies and media. In simple language, e-learning is defined as learning that is enabled electronically. Typically, e-learning is conducted on the internet where the students can access their learning materials online at any time, any time, any place. In the Philippines, e-learning started to popularize in the early 2000s along with the growing popularity of ICT in government and education. The implementation then has been challenged with the absence and considerable ICT infrastructure to support and service was the greatest challenge to early adoption. Today, the improvement of ICT infrastructure and increased penetration, internet access in the country, including remote areas, is seen as advantage to support and strengthen e-learning and open distance learning. The Philippines are still adapting to the new normal caused by the pandemic. As months pass by, Using online classes as their mode of learning poses many difficulties they might encounter. Some of the challenges that students face nowadays are technical issues. Experts say technical issues are bound to happen in an online-only environment. It also includes the poor internet connection of the students. According to the statistics, Philippines is in rank 110th out of 139 countries in the world having the fastest internet connection with only an average of 18.45 megabits per second. Many students are not well equipped with a high internet connection that is required for online learning. Due to this, they face problems in going live for virtual learning and other platforms that require internet connection. They face technical issues as they are not much aware of technology and computer applications. A slow and high internet connection can play an important role on how quickly you can attend the class and do not miss any live sessions. There is a possibility of poor connectivity if you find difficulty in downloading some information related to the subject, heard videos, and etc. Second, time management and distractions while studying from home or wherever students may be. 
there will be more distractions than usual, especially with family and probably with the younger siblings around. As a result of these distra distractions and having additional responsibilities, time management becomes more challenging. In many cases, students find difficulty in managing their time with online learning. Online learning is completely new for them and requires intensive work. They need a scheduled planner to manage their time in an effective manner. Online learning provides flexible time unlike traditional classrooms, but some face difficulties in adjusting to the time required for online learning. The third one, lack of in-person interaction. As we all know, no man is an island. Without interaction with both instructors and classmates can be particularly challenging. The adjustment can be particularly difficult for students taking classes that are better suited for the face-to-face -face format, like those with science lab components. So here are the disadvantages of lacking of social interaction. Number one. We are creatures who all crave some kind of social interaction and lack of it will cause long loneliness. The second one, not being able to compare your own thoughts to the others. So you cannot speculate about other options you might not have seen yourself. Lastly, you cannot do reality checks if you don't interact with anyone for too long time. You will probably not what is real and what is not anymore. Lastly, uncertainty or lack of assurance about the future. We all know that many students have dropped out in their studies because they are not capable of doing this new educational system. The sudden switch to online classes for this school year in some cases has caused anxiety and raised questions among students about their academic future. Some considered stopping school, for instance. While well, others are concerned about upholding a full course load while juggling family responsibilities at home. And that's it. That is the end of our presentation. Once again, we are Group C of 11 ABMA students from Colegio de Calupi. My name is Karji Di Madara. I'm Michaela Salas. I'm Josiah Miguel Tubig. I'm Arne Rafael Ardeluso. I'm I am Mikaela Pangan. I am Jan Benedict Torres. Thank you and God bless us all.